what can we do to reverse global warming? Become aware of the solutions and think about the actions you can take as you listen to how we are drawing down in Pennsylvania. The term drawdown can mean different things to different audiences. To a group of dedicated scientists, communicators, investors, innovators, and policymakers, drawdown is defined as a point in the future where levels of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere stop climbing and then start to steadily decline, ultimately reversing global warming. You don't have to look far at Penn State University to find a drawdown community. Dr. Tom Richard, Professor of Agricultural and Biological Engineering and Director of the Institutes of Energy and the Environment at Penn State University, explains his initial involvement with Project Drawdown and the connection between Project Drawdown and the university. I got involved with Project Drawdown in the fall of 2017 when we had Paul Hawken here as our environmental colloquium speaker. And Paul was the editor of the Drawdown book and the initial director of the project. He was really inspiring as a speaker. And we had a long discussion afterwards about really how universities can better support the drawdown analysis and the general decision-making process that people are making about positive, proactive decisions about how to reverse climate change and create real practical solutions. That conversation continued over a period of really uh, until now, so more than 18 months. And throughout that discussion, the relationship is strengthened. During that time, we've worked very closely with especially Chad Frischman, the research director and vice president of Project Drawdown, but also John Foley, the executive director, the communications and legal staff, especially the senior fellows who've been helping our faculty and students understand the models and the, both individual solution levels as well as entire sectors of the economy and the earth system. And throughout that process, we've been very grateful for their assistance, and we're hoping that we can be contributors to their analysis as well. We have been very involved with a research experience for undergraduates that this summer has 55 undergraduates from across the country, including more than a dozen from Penn State, who are working on solutions to climate change. And working with a series of faculty at many of our campuses to try to understand both how the portfolio of solutions that was developed by Project Drawdown can be improved and implemented locally at the level of the state of Pennsylvania or a city or a community, but also what are some of the new solutions that some of our faculty are working on that may be considered coming attractions, that things are not quite commercial yet or in the early stages of commercialization but have the potential over the next few decades to actually grow and be a significant contributor to the overall climate solution portfolio. Dr. Richard expands upon the importance of the partnership between Penn State University and Project Drawdown. One of the reasons that this connection between Project Drawdown and Penn State exists is because it's mutually beneficial. Project Drawdown wants to connect to a larger research community Penn State has over 100 faculty that are interested in drawdown solutions and have volunteered to help apply their science in this framework and to start to strengthen the science and, and expand the science around these climate solutions that are practical and think about how they can be implemented, what are the various technology, policy, financial challenges, and really broaden the analysis beyond the global to more local decision processes. For Penn State, it's a benefit because we think that this is not only one of the most important things a university can be addressing these days. Working towards drawdown solutions allows Penn State to stay true to the institution's land-grant mission. We are a land-grant university, which means that since our founding, we were really intended to support practical knowledge 
that is needed, particularly by the residents of Pennsylvania, but really more broadly than that, by the citizens of the world. And we think that knowledge, evidence-based, scientifically validated knowledge about climate solutions is essential for good decisions today. And those decisions are not just about how to develop a climate action plan for an individual or business or a government, which are, are really important and which aren't often based on good evidence, but also for us to, as a society, to think about what are the portfolio of solutions that look most promising and where should we be investing more in terms of our research, in terms of our demonstration, in terms of deployment. As a research university, this is helping us to focus our thinking and our resources and our research portfolio for the next several decades in order to make sure that we're really targeting the most important, impactful solutions possible. September 2019 is an important date for both Penn State and Project Drawdown, as this date marks the first ever conference on the science of drawdown, focused on building out the scientific community around the idea of a complete and comprehensive portfolio of climate solutions. Dr. Richard explains. Building a scientific community that can both advance the science around climate solutions, but also start to build the data sets and localize the models and advance the integrated modeling that supports the different sectors that Drawdown addresses. And that effort is something which has already started and is moving along nicely, but is something which is gonna take continued effort. And we think that that effort really needs to grow. So one of the reasons to have a conference like this is to start to build a community, a global community of researchers who are thinking in similar ways about how a broad portfolio of climate solutions can be best understood, documented, and analyzed so that decision makers at every locality from businesses, from government to nations can develop their own climate action plans based on really sound science. As an institution, Penn State University already engages in activities and best practices for reversing global warming and will continue to do so in the future. There are many different ways that Penn State is and can contribute to reversing global warming. We are doing that at the institutional level through reconfiguring our energy systems, starting with energy efficiency, which we've been working at with our new and reconstruction as well as our renovation systems very aggressively. Also looking really hard at our energy supply systems. And we've made a number of decisions in the last decade to try to reduce the carbon footprint and actually successfully reduce the carbon footprint. And that's included more efficient fossil energy systems with a lower carbon footprint, but also major investments in renewables. We're now up to 25% of our electricity is coming from renewable commitments that we've made. So, so those are a few ways that we're doing things on an institutional level. As individuals, and this is, I think, more of the most important part. Dr. Richard reminds us that the students of Penn State University play a critical role in reaching drawdown through scientific, social, and cultural solutions. We're an educational institution. We have 100,000 plus students. Those students are living in communities. They're gonna go out into the workforce. They will impact their, their neighbors, their friends, their families, and help them with decisions. And so as we create opportunities to educate our students, as well as our faculty and staff about climate solutions in this positive, proactive way, I think there's a great multiplier effect that we will have. And then finally, and we're doing this through the Drawdown research experiences for undergraduates, and there's the opportunity to actually help other groups here in Pennsylvania make better decisions themselves by giving them information. And so several of the students that are working on these research experiences have done analysis about specific opportunities for specific either businesses or government agencies or universities to think about how they can generate a portfolio that, of decisions and actions that can reduce their own carbon emissions and help to reverse global warming. 
as one of the summer 2019 drawdown scholars at Penn State. I have been participating in the efforts to communicate drawdown solutions through the creation of the podcast series Drawing Down in Pennsylvania, which I hope will reach a wide range of audiences across Pennsylvania and beyond. Thanks for listening. This is Anna from Penn State Brandywine.